I'll go right back to the basics. If you want to look good naked, you should do slow resistance training, bodybuilding, and you should do easy aerobic work. And you can't be an asshole when you eat foods and you need to sleep effectively. You need to drink water. You need to get sunshine. In order to increase lean mass, first of all, you have to recognize that increasing lean mass is unnatural. And anything that you've been sold either on Instagram or bodybuilding.com or et cetera, et cetera, is all based upon you know, um, people either being super disciplined, like super disciplined as a sport professionally and gaining like a couple of kilograms of lean mass in a year. Um, but you have to recognize that gaining lean mass is unnatural biologically. Um, and if you can gaining it, you're either a 13 year old that's getting bigger or someone that you're providing really high discipline in a natural environment. And of course, there's always the stories, which we don't want to discount to this, that if you're a drug user or using supplements that boost any, term, any forms of anabolic hormones, then you can gain lean mass. But again, that's unnatural and will lead to biological complications long term. So you've got to have that aspect of trying to gain lean mass first in order to create a metabolic environment in which you burn fat. The burning fat you know, silo all by itself is pretty simple, but we wrap so much bullshit around it that we can't get our hands on you know, the, real, the real way to, to burn fat. The real way to burn fat, as I said, is to try to gain muscle, even though it's unnatural and you actually won't gain any. And to burn fat, you need to make your system as low stress as possible. You need to chew food really well. You need to get water, half your body weight in ounces per day. You need to get sunshine on your skin every day. You need to sleep eight hours a night as an adult straight through uninterrupted. You need to have great energy patterns throughout the day. You need to have great purpose and great intention. If you're like, well, you know, no one's going to do that, then you don't try to find a fucking duct tape program to burn fat around something that's the base support for people burning fat. So if you want to you know, uh, fake it, then yeah, you can provide some fancy resistance training and high intensity program that'll make people more thermogenic in the short term. And this eventually burns out their organs so that they can't actually even burn fat for the rest of their life after they go through that yo-yo program. So yo-yo diets, yo-yo program will get you short term gains in loss of body fat and actually ironically loss of lean mass. I mean, that may look successful in the short term, but if you follow these people for 10 years, it's the biggest loser concept. They actually go back to even being above what they started with because they fast tracked all those pieces and they didn't do the non sexy shit to burn fat. You know, you put all that together and you work on whatever it takes to get to that level for months and months and months, you will turn into a really good thermogenic machine, irregardless if you lose fat or not, which could be genetic, environmental, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, it kind of gets complex.